Tonight, a new documentary premieres about an epidemic of children dying here in the Northwest. The TV premiere is on the A&E Network. Now, that documentary is based on our own Dan Tilkin's investigative reporting into the Followers of Christ Faith Healing Church in Oregon and in Idaho. Now, Dan joined us now with a look at this documentary. And, Dan, you're actually in this documentary. The producers put me in there as kind of a hidden Easter egg kind of as a tip of the hat to the long investigation I began seven years ago, which then led to this film. The documentary gets inside these faith healing families' belief system and the people fighting to save the kids from their own parents. It seems like every time we turn around, there's some government entity looking to encroach on that freedom. I don't understand it. I guess I'm just too simple a man. Dan CV is a central figure in the documentary. His 14-year-old son, Rocky, died in his wife's arms from untreated pneumonia. Rocky's death was the first child fatality I made public in 2011 in my investigation into the Followers of Christ churches in Idaho. I documented how Idaho has refused to do what Oregon has done, change faith healing laws to punish parents who don't take their kids to doctors. I was the first reporter to question CV about his beliefs. If you don't have power over your own body and your own children, then forget it. It's revolution time. As the sheriff, it's unimaginable that a parent would not do whatever they could to save their child. The documentary follows the people who have tried to take on the church, like Linda Martin. I think this is probably one of the most vile places on earth. I was the first to tell her story when she launched her mission five years ago. She was raised in the church and is trying to convince the legislature to end what you see at the Followers of Christ Cemetery outside of Boise. If you go there like I have, you will see grave after grave of children. <laughs> kids all have a story. They all had a life. Many of the last names are the same as the families who attend the Followers of Christ Church in Oregon City, where five couples have been prosecuted, including most recently Travis and Sarah Mitchell. They were just sentenced to prison in July. Their newborn daughter had difficulty breathing and died hours after birth. These are not things that children die of. In, in our time, this is what children died of back in the 1800s, not in the 2000s. The documentary follows her frustration and failure to change the minds of those with the power to save kids. They live trying to do the best they can to please their God for their heavenly reward. If your religion ain't worth dying for, it ain't worth having. So the makers of the documentary, they tried to stay neutral in this. So anybody looking to the documentary to condemn these families, they might be a little bit disappointed. Now it is on tonight on A&E at either 7 o'clock or 10 o'clock, depending on which cable provider you have. Now you followed this for years, not only here in Oregon, but then I remember when you traveled to Idaho mm -hmm. extensively. Is Idaho any closer to passing a law like they have here in Oregon. Linda Martin, she lives in Oregon. She's worked so hard and she's gotten bills before committees, never makes it out of committee. It just gets killed in committee because the folks there in the legislature believe that the religious freedom granted to the parents trumps protecting mm -hmm. the children. It's fascinating because any other parent who neglected their children in the way these folks do would be prosecuted. But there's, just, but there's a element of religion in this and that we should be able to run families as we said, see fit. That's what they're saying. There's a one line in the Idaho code that lets these people get off scot-free. Okay, once again, that documentary, A&E, tonight? Yes, 7 or 10 o'clock, depending on which cable provider you have. Okay, Dan, thank you. And folks can see Dan's reporting and all the stories he's done over the years on coin.com. And if you have a tip for our investigators, like Dan Tilkin, send us an email to investigators at coin.com.